Hello, it's Elm Nice. So here we are back in um, chapter 11, Capitulum Undecimum, and we are uh, part of the way through section one. We're ready to pick up at line 35 here. In the margin, we see the Poculum Aquae. Poculum is cup aquae of water. Uh, then it says Poculum Cum aqua, a cup with water, another way of saying that. All right, so line 35, Aemilia puro agro malum rubrum dat. Amelia gives a um, red apple, malum rubrum, that's accusative case, notice the um ending, to the sick boy, puro igro, notice the dative o ending. Remember that dative case is used for um, to or for whom we give, show, or tell a thing most commonly. Uh, we sometimes call that an indirect object in English. So dot uh, gives, tells us it's likely we would have a dative case gives what that's just your direct object malum accusative and then the puro is the person to whom you give Amelia gives the red apple to the sick boy neque is malum ace potest nor is he able to eat the apple and ace with a long e tells us that means to eat rather than to be right essay to be ace to eat mater e ipoculum aquae dat the mother gives dot a cup of water poculum accusative aquae genitive to him at e and of course that means to quintus so there is again a dative to or for whom so in this case to him the pronoun and then amelia says bibe aqua moto just drink the water okay so he can't eat the apple so she's saying just drink some water she's concerned with him because, um, of course, we need to drink water even more than to eat something. You can't go long without drinking. He'll get weak. Mater caput quinti sustenit. The mother holds up Quintus's head. Okay, so quinti is the genitive showing possession. Quintus's caput here as a neuter word. Uh, that's the accusative. Following that neuter rule, the accusative looks just like the nominative case. So she holds Quintus's head, dum puer aquam bibit, while the boy drinks the water. Amelia says, yam dormi, Quinte. Now sleep, Quintus. Dormi bene. Sleep well. Mater manum ponit in fronte filii. The mother places her hand, manum, direct object, in fronte filii, on the forehead of her son. Filii is another genitive case. Frontimeus tangit. She touches his forehead. So eus is the genitive singular of that pronoun. Uh, we had is earlier meaning he and ei earlier meaning to him, right, in the dative case. Uh, now eus can actually be all three genders, so it could be his, hers, or its, but we know here in context it refers to Quintus. Ei also likewise could be to him, to her, or to it. But back earlier, again, we knew it referred to Quintus, so we said to him. All right, she touches his forehead. Quintus oculos clouded. Quintus closes his eyes. Atque dormit. And he sleeps. Julius, qui cum suro servo in atrio est, imperat. I ad obedum sire. Et medicum, sorry, not et, but atque, medicum arcese. Julius, who is in the atrium with the slave Cirrus, commands or orders, go to town Cirrus and summon or fetch the doctor. So Arcese, I believe, is a new word in this chapter to summon or fetch or get. Um, let's see. Um, other things to know. E, the, the word for go. That's like one of the shortest words, right? It's just a one-letter verb, and it means go. The plural of that would be ite, just add the te on the end. Uh, and just to remind you, the other forms of that verb, it means he, she, it goes, and then eunt means they go, a couple common forms. The infinitive is ire, to go. All right, picking up again in 44. Medicus Tusculi Habitat. The doctor lives in Tusculum or at Tusculum. Now Tusculi looks like it's genitive, but that is that 
uh, locative case. Uh, locative, of course, related to location in English. It's a case that's used to show place where, and it usually looks like a genitive or dative when it's singular. So Tuscaly here looks genitive, but it actually tells where he lives, right? So the doctor lives at or in Tusculum. Remember the villa of Julius is just outside of Tusculum. So this is pretty close here. It's not far to go. Julius servum suum Tusculum iria ubet. Julius orders, you bet, you bet is a synonym for imperat, he orders his slave, Serum Suum, to go to Tusculum. Now, here's a new construction for this uh, chapter. Orders who? Orders the slave, Serum is accusative, and then orders him to do what? He orders him to go, ire, infinitive. So, in Latin, a lot of times um, you'll say orders person or thing in the accusative to do something with an infinitive. Now we can do that kind of thing in English, like we can say he tells him to go, and the him is an object case, and to go is an infinitive, but a lot of times we'll say he orders that he go to the store, or that he should go to the store, or he um, says that he should go, maybe, something like that. Um, so we will say a that clause, or we'll just say he's says he should go to the store, right? And we drop the that out. But in Latin, almost all of those cases are going to amount to an accusative for the noun and then an infinitive for the verb. All right, so we'll look more at that in a grammar lesson for this chapter. So Julius orders his slave, accusative, serum suum, to go to Tusculum, ire, and then Tusculum accusative for the place he's going to. Atque medicum arcesere, and to summon the doctor. So there's another infinitive, used same way. Arcesere. Surus equum ascendit, Cirrus climbs on the horse, ad opidum it, goes to the town, medicum arcesit, fetches the doctor. Servus cum medico, ad vilam revenit. The slave returns with the doctor to the villa. Of course, the villa means their fancy estate home in the countryside. Medicus interrogat, the doctor asks, Quis ai grotat? Who is sick? Who is ill? Julius says, Meus Quintus filius ai grotat. My son Quintus is ill. Ambulare non potest. He's not able to walk. The doctor says, Cur ambulare non potest. Why isn't he able to walk? Julius, quia pes eius ai geres? Julius says, because his foot is unwell, I gear. Again, it can mean sick, ill. Here I want to say unwell or maybe injured for I gear. Puer stultus es, medicae. The boy is stupid, doctor. Nidum in arbore reperit. He finds a nest in a tree. Arbore maskindit. He climbs the tree. De arbore cadit. He falls out of the tree. Itique perimigrum abet. So he has an unwell foot, an injured foot. Nec ambulare potes, nor is he able to walk. Nec moropede sedetiam capite ageres. Not only um, in his foot or on his foot, pede is ablative, but also in his head, capite, or on his head, he is unwell. Now, I don't know if he's talking about him being stupid or if he's talking about him having a headache here, because as we're going to see later, he does talk about having uh, pains in his head as well. But anyhow, he's definitely calling his son stupid earlier. So not only is he unwell with his foot, with respect to his foot, we might say, but also with respect to his head. Okay. Julius medicum ad cubiculum quinti ducit. Julius leads the doctor to the bedroom of Quintus, or just to Quintus's bedroom. Sounds better in English. Medicus cubiculum intrat. The doctor enters the bedroom. Ad lectum adit, he goes to the bed, atque purum aspicit, and he looks at the boy. Quintus quietus super lectum yacet, Quintus lies still or quiet on top of the bed, nec oculos aperit, nor does he open up his eyes. Medicus purum dormire vedet, the doctor sees the boy sleep. Now here's one of those uh, examples. We would say the doctor sees the boy sleeping, sees that the boy sleeps, sees something. We would say something like that. 
what does the Latin literally say? The Latin literally says, the doctor sees the boy accusative to sleep infinitive. So this is an accusative infinitive construction. It's also called an indirect statement. And in English, again, we would probably say something like the doctor sees the boy sleeping or sees that the boy is sleeping, okay? Most likely. So I would change the way it works. Don't translate it literally and say sees the boy to sleep. Just say something like sees that the boy is sleeping. All right, line 60, medicus decet. The doctor says, who air dormant? The boy is asleep. He's sleeping. Sura quae male audit. Sira, who is who hears badly, id quod medicus dicit adire non potest, is not able to hear that which the doctor says. Now, a quick thing to point out: quod can mean which, or it can mean because, as a synonym of quia. How do I know it means which here and not because? Because of the id. Id is a neuter pronoun. Quod is a neuter pronoun as well. Quote is going to refer back to id. The technical name for that is id is the antecedent of quote. But basically it's the word that that pronoun refers back to. Also, if I said something like the town which um, I see, right, that would be opidum, neuter form, and then the quote would be the which. So if quote is right next to a neuter thing like that, you can bet it's going to mean which. If it's not, it might well mean because. Not always, but very frequently it could mean because. So Sira, who hears badly, does not, or is not able to hear that which the doctor says. We might just say what the doctor says, right? But we literally have that which, id quod. It's a quay interrogat, and so she asks, quid dicit medicus? What is the doctor saying? Amelia in arrem sirai, into Sira's ear, says, medicus purum dormire dicit. Um, the doctor says the boy is sleeping. Quintus oculus aperit atque medicum abesse vedet. Quintus opens his eyes and sees that the doctor is away. Literally, again, sees the doctor to be, um, not away, <laughs> is present, is there, right? Ad esse. Ab esse is to be away. Ad esse is to be present. All right. So he opens his eyes and he sees the doctor is present. Again, literally though, ad esse is to be present, so sees the doctor to be present. But this again is that indirect statement um, construction. So we want to change the way that sounds in English. Puer qui medicum temet, the boy who fears the doctor, nullum verbum facre audit, does not dare to make a word, or literally dares to make no word, right? Medicus, the doctor says, os apere puere, Lingua mostende, open your mouth, boy, show your tongue. Now he's going to do a little examination. All right, so we're at 67 there. We're going to end this lesson for now, and we'll pick up again, finish this section in our next. Valete!